So in this video, I'm going to show a slightly different way to repair the perineum. Uh, this is a second degree tear or an episiotomy midline. I think of the perineum as taking two pieces of triangle and bringing it together. The vaginal layer, the deep layer, and the perineal skin layer. So you saw me start at the apex, just above the apex of the tear in the vagina. And you want to be above that because it helps you with hemostasis. I only put two knots in, but you always have to put at least three knots in. Uh, and now I'm doing a running locking stitch and once again this improves hemostasis. The most vascular area is that uh, vaginal tissue. I apologize on this video for the small amount of suture material I'm using and that's going to make it a little hard to do the knot at the end what I'm demonstrating. So I'm just at the inside of the, of the hymenal ring there and so we're going to go on the inside of the ring lock it and then I'm going to come out to the outside of the hymenal ring and lock that. And I'm told, although I have not read, that uh, putting the suture material through the hymenal ring causes more dyspareunia. So here I'm just going to take one more stitch just on the perineal tissue and then we're going to do a, um, a sliding slip knot because that actually decreases the amount of, um, of suture material that we'll, we'll be tying to later. So there's one loop and I slide it through and pull and then bring the rest of the suture material through the second loop and snug it up. And you'll see how that gives us a good knot um, but with less suture material. I'm going to cut that because we're going to tie off our whole um, repair to that knot at the end. So now I'm going to do a separate stitch for the bulbocavernosis muscle. That's a nice deep stitch. It's more like a V shape. So think of on the left side of the woman's body, you're starting at the top and going down into the middle. And on her right side, you start in the middle and then come up to the top. And that's going to bring that bulbocavernosis muscle together. Think of that as now we're working on the second side of the triangle, the deep part. And once again, tying off with three knots. Now, if you have any more dead space, um, you need to bring that close together. And so you may need to do another simple stitch that's deep um, in the perineum. This one does not need it. And that's because if you don't close the deep space, you can have more bleeding into it and then you'll get a hematoma. And so now what I'm doing is the last part, which is the outside triangle or the perineal side. And so we're going to use a subcutaneous stitch going down, which is just simply a running stitch, again, to bring some of that deeper tissue together. And I'm trying to go um, straight across to bring that um, the deep stitches together. And when you get near the end, you're going to take the needle and you're going to bring it out at the apex, but still underneath the subcutaneous tissue or the epithelial layer because we're getting ready to do the subcuticular stitch. And the subcuticular stitch is just taking about a millimeter underneath the epithelial layer and just bringing those together. So it's more of a horizontal stitch. Or perpendicular to the perineum and when I go in on the second stitch is exactly where I came out on the other side and that way you don't get a zigzagging appearance as you make the repair. So once again I'm going to put this 
in, the needle's going to go in right opposite where I came out, not behind it. And you need to be careful of the cutting, um, the, the cutting needle. The cutting needle, if it hits any of that suture material, it may actually slash it. So right there I need to be very careful not hitting any suture material because that will break down the whole repair. And now that I've brought that subcutaneous tissue together, I'm just going to come back out onto the perineum. And I'm going to tie off to the suture that we've already got. I usually throw a fourth knot here just to make sure that it doesn't untie. And the nice thing about this repair is that the knot is on the outside so the body doesn't have to dissolve it. But some women will find that that knot and that little bit of suture material is irritating.